Uh, if you look at history, if you actually look at what the precedent is, this has happened 29 times. 29 times there has been a vacancy in a presidential election year. Now, presidents have made nominations all 29 times. That's what presidents do. If there's a vacancy, they make a nomination. What has the Senate done? And there's a big difference in the Senate with whether the Senate is of the same party of the president or a different party of the president. When the Senate has been of the same party of the president, a vacancy occurs in an election year, of the 29 times, those are 19 of them. Of those 19, the Senate has confirmed those nominees 17 times. So if the parties are the same, the Senate confirms the nominee. When the parties are different, that's happened 10 times. Merrick Garland was one of them. Of those 10, the Senate has confirmed the nominees only twice. And, and there's a reason for that. It's not just simply your party, my party. The reason is it's, it's a question of checks and balances. In order for a Supreme Court nomination to go forward, you have to have the president and the Senate. In this instance, the American people voted. They elected Donald Trump. A big part of the reason they elected Donald Trump is because of the Scalia vacancy and they wanted principled constitutionalists on the court. And a big part of the reason why we have a Republican majority elected in 2014, re-elected in 2016, grown even larger in 2018, a major issue in each of those elections is the American people voted and said, we want constitutionalist judges. And so the president was elected to do this and the Senate was elected to confirm th this nomination.